is up, Posse? My name is Will Bronlick, and welcome to another review here on Alpha Mega Wolf Productions. Just for the record, this is all this guy's fault. So we just got done watching the 2019 Charlie's Angels. My second Not time. The second time. What? For me. Second time for Jess. First time for me. Jess has been wanting to do this for a little while. And uh, just for uh, the record, quick disclaimer. Um, I don't know that much about Charlie's Angels in general. I know there's a fairly popular TV show back in the day, and there are some movies that didn't really do very well. Yeah. Um, so I've seen a little bit of the sh like the original original show, and what I've seen of the original show honestly wasn't that bad. I actually kind of liked it. Um, I actually think you you should check out the original show if you can, Will. Uh, I'll give it a try. Okay. Let me know what you think. Yes, I'm very right. curious after seeing this. Anyways. And like uh, I said uh, before, Jessup has been wanting me to see this uh, movie for a little bit because he wanted to see my reactions to some parts. And he also said that in this movie, Christian Stewart's uh, acting has improved, which we'll get to it in a minute. Yeah, we're going to judge that separately from the movie. Uh, but in general, this is a pretty bad movie. Yeah. So the reason I ended up seeing this in theaters, <laughs> yes, I did, is because um, I had heard something about Kristen Stewart's acting getting better. I was like, okay. I promised myself eventually I would see the next movie, no matter what it was she was in. It happened to be this movie. At first, I thought it was going to be a movie called Underwater or something that came out like in January the, the following year. Yeah. Uh, but no, this came out first. Uh, but... but I've heard that was actually worse. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so let's go into some other aspects. Um, this is a movie that you think uh, should be interesting based on a few things. First of all, the cast. You have Naomi Scott, who, in my opinion, is one of the best up and coming actresses right now. She's not that good. Yeah, she's. And yeah, I still like her after this. Um... I still like her, yeah. Um, you have Kristen Stewart, who gets a laugh occasionally. She's pretty much the comic relief in this movie. It's like their reputations were switched. Yeah. Um, you have uh, Patrick Stewart, uh, who I feel like can do no wrong. Yeah. Um, and there's, there's Elizabeth Banks. Well, except uh, Emoji Movie. Emoji Movie, yes. So other than that, uh, pretty much nothing. Um, and then there's Elizabeth Banks. She was in this as well, and she was also the director, and I think one of the executive producers as well. Yeah. Um, so, anyways. Oh, and there's the cameo the end that really pissed you off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, there's like, some cameos by I guess, some pretty popular, uh, like, uh, I guess, athletes. Yep. Um, but. Uh, Ronda Rousey. Uh, who's Ronda the other one? Danica Patrick, a race car driver. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, at the end. And in terms of like, you know, the action scenes, it got pretty underwhelming at times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, considering this is somebody who knows absolutely, well, not absolutely nothing, but not a lot about the original, I guess, source material, would you say that? Yeah. Then I would just pass this off as like a really bad uh, movie. Um... I guess the comedy is from Kristen Stewart. It's fine. Like she gets some, she gets more laughs than Naomi Scott did. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is just a pretty underwhelming movie. Yeah. So we spoil it just because they're not going to watch it. Mm, I don't really uh, know. Should we even? Come on, you know you wanna. Fine. <laughs> okay, we will talk into more detail about this uh, movie. If you have any interest in watching this movie at all, we'll put a timestamp right here to see, to, to tell you where to go. This is your only warning. Okay, let's begin. Patrick Stewart's the villain. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, they do this red herring where you think it's Elizabeth Banks' uh, Bosley character, but no, it's not. Um, it's the Patrick Stewart Bosley. Um, it pretty much, he was just thrown out. He, he, he was in sent into a forced retirement from the whole agency and didn't like that so much so he decided to turn to terrorism which is pretty stupid if you ask me yep and uh it just seems like the whole motives just don't add up yeah. and the then, fact, they're the, even no go ahead and he's also working as security for this uh 
business guy who Naomi Scott first worked for because she's kind of a rookie angel, new recruit, and uh, she gets recruited during the movie. But uh, then, uh, and he isn't kind of like in on the whole plan. I think the boss isn't. Mm -hmm. Um, So he kind of comes off cross as an idiot. And then finally, the big climax, all the angels show up to help out at the end. And I was just like, what? Yep. Uh, you had a visceral rage to that moment. No. Because I knew you'd get pissed off. No, I was just, waiting for that. I just knew I was going to hate this movie somehow. <laughs> um, um, uh, also, it just feels like this movie just feels so rushed and out of place. I feel like there are some scenes missing in this movie. And I will say this. Um, my mom is um, who really liked the um, 2016 Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. She hated this. As we were walking out of the theater together, she was like, thumbs down. <laughs> yeah. I'll never I think, forget that. Yeah, I remember uh, my mom was uh, talking. Yeah, your mom came in halfway through. Yeah, and uh, she was like, what is this? I said, it's Charlie's Angels. She was like, ugh. Yeah, the, the show is all right. Like, the original show from I remember is all right. Um, no, she was like, she, she, she went, uh, because uh, she knew it was the, because re- I told her it was the remake. Yeah. Um, anyways, um, I remember, I was telling you about this earlier, but um, there was, one episode of the show, I just particularly remember where one of the angels uh, suffers amnesia. Mm-hmm. She witnesses a murder and um, kind of befriends the... And the murder kind of knocks her out. She suffers amnesia and the other angels re- unintentionally recruit the murderer to help find her. And I remember that episode being pretty good. showing. Yeah, I think I'll check it out at some point if I can find it somewhere. Yeah. So just is there... Get- is there- is there anything else we wanted to add, or? Uh, not really, no. All right, so should we discuss uh, what's coming up next? Yeah, Will's revenge. My revenge. This is something I've wanted to do for. Well, actually, this is a movie I saw fairly, fairly recently, and I thought to myself, this is something that Jess and I have to cover. We are going to be reviewing another movie that came out. I think it was also in 2019. It's a movie that goes by the name of After. I need to look this up. Give me a sec. 2019. What the hell? (laughs) Oh, Jessup, you are. 18% of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, Jessup, you are in for it. Uh, Hero, Phineas Triffin. What's the cast? It's nobody nobody really big. Yeah, I recognize none of these people. Wow, there's actually a lot of people on this. And I'm, I'm an extras now, sorry. That's all right. So, yeah, there's no one you ever recognize. All right, so we'll, we'll do that. And then the following week, we're going to be doing A Kid in King Arthur's uh, Court. So two, three bad movies in a row. Well, at least I didn't think after was uh, terrible, but I kind of wanted to see his reaction to it. Yeah, so Will's going to get his revenge. We were originally going to do A Kid King Arthur's Court uh, ne- uh, next week, but uh, we're going to do this after movie. It's dead. Mm, yes. All right. So that just all does it for this review. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. So, until next time, see you later, posse.